If you have locked your VBA projects using a password and you can't remember what the password is, this is how you unlock it. But before we do that, let me show you how you can lock your VBA projects using a password. You're going to press alternate F11 and that will launch your VBA editor. If that hotkey doesn't work, I've got another video showing you how you can enable that hotkey. If you need that link to that video, please leave a request on the comment section and I'll send you the link. Now, once you open your VBA editor, you're going to scroll all the way up and you're going to right click on VBA projects that you're working on. This is the workbook I'm working on, the sheet.xlsm. That's why I'm going to right click on this guy here and click on VBA project properties. And this is going to bring up a VBA project properties window here. You're going to select protection tab and you're going to place a check next to the lock project from viewing and assign a password. My password will be ABC for this demonstration today and click OK. Now we're going to press Ctrl S to save and basically close your workbook. And now if you open your workbook and press alternate F11 to launch your VBA editor and try to open your VBA project, this time around they will prompt you for password. Of course, I know the password is going to be ABC and it will unlock and you can look at the VBA project itself. But in the event, if you have locked your VBA project with a password and you can't remember the password and you try to open your VBA project, this is the furthest you'll ever go without the password. Let me show you how you can get out from this sticky situation. You're going to basically close your workbook completely here and then go to the location where your Excel workbook is located. Now you're going to change the file name extension from XLSM to zip, Z-I-P like this and hit enter. And window will say that you're, you're about to change your file name extension. Of course, you're trying to do that. Say yes and the icon will change and the file icon will look like a zip file. Now you're going to right click and basically extract the zip file into any directory. I'm going to un unzip into the same directory where the zip file is like this. And when you do that, what happens is that it will create a brand new directory for you with the same name as the zip. Now you're going to open this directory that it was created by the unzipping process. And this will bring you to this directory here. Over here, you're going to open your XL directory here. And if you scroll down after opening XL directory, you'll see a file called VBA project.bin or binary file. You're going to have to use a hex editor to look at the content of this file. The hex editor I'm using today is called HXD. It's a free tool that you can download. I'll leave the description of where you can download this file from. Once you have installed the HXD, you're going to basically take that BVA project binary and drag it into the HXD and let it go. And it will look something like that. Now place your cursor at the very top end of that file and press Ctrl F and look for something called DPB. And if you hit enter, it will highlight the location where the text DPB is located. It will look something like that. Now you, can, you have to carefully highlight only the B and replace it with the letter X. Once that is done, you're going to press Ctrl S to save and close your hex editor. Now let's go back one directory up and you will see three directories and one file. You're going to select all of them here like this and you're going to right click and basically say compress to a zip file. When you do that, you'll create a brand new file and you can reassign a name called maybe test but make sure you change the file name extension from zip to xlsx and hit enter at that point the window is going to complain and say that you're about to change the file name extension of course you're going to say yes here and the icon will change from a zip to an excel now if you try to open this window will say you have recovering to do of course you're going to say yes another window will pop up again saying that it contains invalid character of course we made changes from dpb to dpx you're going to say yes here and here you're going to say it's about to do repair and all that you're going to click on close here now you're going to press alternate f11 to launch your vba editor when you launch your vba editor it will give you this unexpected error you're going to click on OK or press Escape. You'll see that I have multiple unexpected error, mainly because I got multiple VBA modules and script on this file here. That's why I get multitude of it. So after a few rounds of pressing Escape or clicking on Close, you'll come up to a VBA editor here. Now, what you do is that you go all the way up to your VBA project. Try not to open it because, of course, if you try to open it, you'll get the same error as what you saw just now as unexpected error here. Let's go back to our VBA projects here. Right click on it and go VBA project properties. In here, you're going to go back to the same tab called protection and remove this lock project from viewing and make sure there's no password on this password section here. Now you're going to click OK and close this and press Ctrl S to save. When you do that, they'll ask you to save this file 
as a separate file somewhere else. I'm going to browse and basically maybe go one directory above, which is going to be in this directory. Give it a file name called test. Maybe I'm going to call it the sheet again. No password. And I'm going to leave the file name extension as XLSM. And I'm going to click on save. And what it does is that it creates a brand new file for you right here. You can see. I'm going to close this. Once that's done, you're going to open the same file that you just created. And this time around, if you press Alternate F11, where the VBA editor will open and you got full access to your VBA projects without a password.